Chuck Yeager died Monday night at the age of 97, December 7, 2020. But who was he? Chuck was born in Hamlin, West Virginia, to the Yeager family. His dad and older brother both were gas drillers, and he would have also become a driller if he hadn't enlisted in the Air Force at age 18 in 1941. He was promoted to a flight officer in 1943, which means he was allowed to go to England to fly over France and Germany to fight. During his first eight missions at age 20, Jaeger was able to shoot down two German fighter planes, but on his ninth mission, he was shot down over a Nazi-occupied part of France. Luckily, he managed to bail out and land safely only with a few wounds. He was picked up by the French resistance, which managed to smuggle him into Spain, where he was actually jailed for a short time. After that, he made his way back to England and continued to fight. On October 12, 1944, he managed to take on five German fighter planes and shoot them all down. Less than a month later, he destroyed one of the new German jet planes, the Messerschmitt 262, and damaged two others while flying in a propeller-driven P-51 Mustang. By the end of the war, Jaeger managed to get 13 and a half kills, half meant he had help, and he was only 22 years old. In 1946 and 1947, he trained to be a test pilot. A test pilot is someone who tests out new planes or machinery for the Air Force, Navy, or even NASA. After the war, the U.S. military, military realized that soon the sound barrier, in other words, Mach 1, would be broken, and it was crucial for the U.S. to be the ones to do it. But the problem was, when a plane passed 0.7 Mach, bad things started to happen, like the controls could freeze up. Scientists speculated that the shockwaves were too strong and unpredictable at Mach 1. The plane that the Air Force planned to use to break the sound barrier was called X, the X-1. It wouldn't take off like a normal jet. It would go in a B-29 to about 25,000 feet and be released there. On October 12th, two days before he was scheduled to pass Mach 1, he and his wife Glennis went to a bar and he got drunk. And then, while he was still drunk, he raced his wife by horse and ended up riding into a gate and breaking two ribs. Instead of postponing the flight, though, he still went and passed the sand barrier with two broken ribs. His, pl his plane was called Glamorous Glennis after his wife. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it to anyone else you might, who you know that might be interested, and please consider subscribing. Um, all Source comes from the book The Right Stuff by Tom Wolfe, which I highly recommend. Um, thanks for watching.